here. They're playing harder than you are. They're playing harder than you are. I think I have more of a love for the game than I do for actually coaching. Um, it's just the next step in, you know, continuing to stay in the game now that I can't play anymore. Well, I, I was fortunate to play for a lot of great coaches, so I have a lot of role models in that sense, and I think I've taken a lot from all of them. Uh, I played for Coach Jim Bunico, senior in football. I played for Coach Ralph Ruggiero in basketball, and I played for Gil Vargas in baseball. And um, I think I've taken a little bit of all of them, and I was fortunate to go to Trinity College and play for Coach O'Grodnick. If you show the kids that they, you care, you can almost say anything you want to them because they know you care and you want to make them better. And I always tell them, I may yell at you, but I'll be the first one to put my arm around you, to pat you on the butt, to say good job. Even when I'm praising them, I'm still loud, so they're just used to the loudness by now. Coach Ruggiero taught me, the taught me this game. I mean, I learned a lot going to college on the next level, but it was just an extension of what I had already learned. The foundation was already set. So I would think that, you know, Coach Ralph Ruggiero taught me basically everything I know about the game. My college coach, Coach Stan Agronik, um, took me to that next level, got me to be more of an independent thinker and let me run the team as a point guard in college. Coach Troy is like the, the loud one, the one that gets you going, the one that's more intense, like, push, like the one that pushes you more, makes you want to play harder. Deontay! Deontay, why? We're winning, you can hold the ball! You can hold the ball! He's on, always on the court jumping around. Coach, Coach Dave, he, he, he's like, he could be like that sometimes. He can get a little loud. Coach Cornish is born and raised in New London. I'm born and raised in New London. Um, we've known each other since grade school. We only know one way, and that's the way we were taught when we played at New London. Um, so you play for championships, you play defense, you play hard, and um, you teach the game. And that was the things we wanted to do when we came over, was to really teach the game, um, to motivate them, to bring a little swagger over here, because you know the program, I think, won two games in two years. Um, and then after doing that, you know, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. You have to change the culture as well. Um, getting the support from Coach Bunicor in the athletic department office. Um, I think we're able to, you know, bring that attitude over here and, and, and um, really instill it. And I think, you know, when you hear our kids talk now, they talk about state championships. To be an assistant for Coach Cornish and to rebuild the program back from where it was um, and, and when it put a banner up since it hasn't been done here would be absolutely phenomenal. Don't stop playing defense. What's wrong with you guys? You play to the horn sounds. Let's go. Play to the horn sounds.